come over to the left side of the engine you can see the drain plug on the radiator right down there three quarter socket go to the other side of the truck so when it starts coming out you don't get splashed Gonna add some distilled water to help flush some more out. Then after that, we're going to fill it up again with distilled water and run the engine to help clean it out inside. Also squeezing the radiator hose here a few times will help to get it to finally start pumping out. Make sure that you get it to fill into the container. And if it's leaking there where the nut is, you can just tighten it up a little bit. I added some more of the distilled water to the reservoir, close it up. Now I'm going to turn the engine on and let it run for about 30 seconds to help cycle through and clean out any crap that might be inside. Now you're going to tighten back up the drain nut so you get out as much as you can. See how the container is pretty much filled at the top? Make sure that you always get the undiluted antifreeze that you have to add water to because it's cheaper and the distilled water is very cheap. I'm going to take this empty one and fill it up about halfway. And then we'll fill up the other half with the antifreeze. Alright, we got them both about halfway full. Start out with a full one, so we know that that's about halfway. Now the minimum that you can mix it with is 50-50. It says not to do it less than that. So then we're just going to pour in. Get it filled up just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one and finish off the bottle. There we go, we got our two gallons of mixed antifreeze and distilled water ready to put inside the truck. Make sure that you reconnect any hoses that you disconnected when you were trying to drain the water out, the old antifreeze out. After you put this in, you got to turn the truck on and run it so the water pump will pump back in all the water and then you can see how low the reservoir gets to tell you if you need to add more or not.
that's it. We got the two gallons in. We're going to pop the cap on, turn the engine on, and let it run for a minute. 